teaching. Teaching is the main idea now. I painted always finished paintings, but I really made up my mind, how long will I teach? It couldn't be too long anymore. So as long as I can leave with you such almighty power, such almighty, oh, go, then I think I have not failed. I was a good teacher. So right now I always think, don't show all the, 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 all the, the extras there, show the main thing. So I aim for just a couple of flowers with a knife. Let's see how we do it. Again, I have to create a background. I use a white canvas this time. And I see I put here a bundle of paints together. And I start out with the brush as a sample. I use white, yellow, sap green. And I munch it all together. It becomes something. And maybe a little touch of black. And then I burn. Whoa, whatever the, see, I want to have a kind of a sparkling background kind of a sparkling background, sparkling background, but put on lots of paint because then you can move it around. It's a knife work that gives you a beautiful background. See, just, just anything you grab, whatever. I want it lighter into the dark <clears throat> than here, see, but let the colors go into each other. I don't want to have it separated. See, the, the, all of a sudden it start working on you. Uh, 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 touch of black red and fire and, and put yourself in that almighty mood. You know, when I start painting, I got to button myself up. I talk to myself and I believe I was this painting, this painting. When I get that finished, that's the biggest, that's the best I ever painted. It's only when I'm finished, I'm not happy with myself. And I think that this is kind of whatever, we have to live with that. See, look at that, thousand details and how fast you get on. If I, I would do it with the knife, it would take me too long as a background. The, uh, use your own, there's so many other colors. I just, uh, you only can show one type of color, but use the colors you, it would fit to your carpet, it would fit to your house decor, to maybe a touch of blue on the bottom here. The, Yeah, that gives a nice, nice background. Nice background. See, and time. You cannot spend too much time with the... It is nice to have a nice background, but I don't want to spend too much time to... I just make it so that it pleases me, that I'm happy with that. And that's all. Me here, that... Uh, no, I leave the reds out completely. Maybe with white here. Oh, that's not, that doesn't look bad. I like it. So fine, use your big knife and fire in. See, now I make those knife strokes. And it looks like everything is done by knife. And if I wouldn't have done that, it would take me too long to to always grab the paint, put it on, grab the paint, put it on, grab the paint, put it on. See, make it short and powerful. Oh, good. And, and keep it thick and hard. Oh, I should talk about that. Don't make it thin it down. Oh God, please don't thin it down then, see, you must think you have to paint on top of that paint. And the thick paint underneath is always fantastic. See, and if you want, you already can prepare, like, uh, their leaves, you see. It, it acts like leaves. They are there, they are not there. They are there, they are not there. See, can you see? Looks like leaves you pack up there, all of a sudden, by using the knife that way. See? Something like a leaf popping up there. See how I hold my knife very flat? 
on the foot. See, even this, this light against the dark. This is sometimes have it just standing up there like a little leaf popping up there because I paint flowers, see? If I paint something else, then you aim for something else. That's a nice, nice, happy background. Good, 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 good. Now, the next step, the next step, I use a smaller little knife, a smaller knife with a round curve, you see, kind of a round tip and a flat tip. And I want to make some flowers. I have a thick, always have a strong, strong paint. I have a very thick paint for that kind of work, for palette knife work. A soupy paint, it, it, you cannot do the, the things you want to do. Let me, I use yellow and a touch of red. I prepared here, and I would say that would be the inside of that flower. That would be the inside of that flower. See? I lay the paint on top there. That's the inside of one flower. Maybe, maybe, there I grab the red and yellow again. And we will say other flower is here. This is the inside of that other flower. There we are, and maybe, maybe here, here is the inside of another flower. Oh, good, good. Now, all knife work, I use heavy, thick magic, uh, uh, heavy, thick white, and I would say I start the paddle from this side and pull it in nicely to there. And we go again. Always have a clean brush. And I would say, oh yeah, here we can have another paddle. One in like that. But you see, you pull it off, this it disappears on the bottom. It gets darker. See? Now we will, we will, we will, we will. Maybe have another one here. See, try to aim for that, as you can, more pressure, see, less pressure when you start, and then more pressure, so it pulls it off nice there. <coughs> see, and it gives you a nice palette knife work, and you can pound it on more. See, I look, this time, use lots of paint if you want to. Oh, here, there's this one. And if you're not happy, you have to go over. Always go over with the clean. If I feel the, like, you shouldn't worry. This, in nature, it is like that. But I just would like to show you, use a clean, clean, uh, always, a, never use the, the, the it's just dirty, you know. Clean your brush on the paper there. And you get nice uh, daisy panels there. Maybe we will start one, one coming up, this one. We think, let's think, this paddle has bent over and comes in. You see, <laughs> that's the way I would do it then. That paddle is just coming out of nowhere there, or nowhere there. And if you have to destroy it, if, if sometimes something goes wrong, you can always blend it in with the background again. So it's easy to paint like that. <clears throat> so maybe here. I have two paddles. See, then it's going over on the other side and disappearing. Use your almighty imagination. There's the other paddle here. Uh, oh. See, in there, other paddle here. 
sometimes it's a bit awkward because you always have to twist your hands and don't worry too much in the inside you always can clean it out you see look you use a knife and you clean it all nicely out and you have it all the way you want it see that is one now use yellow and dab it a little bit see And you got a nice daisy there. And if you want, you can use little little lines, little scratcher. See, it gives you a nice little flower. Now we put the other one on here. Start off maybe with one that's just gone over. There, another one is gone from this side in. See? Like to think, let that just go around and like that. And here we have one, a mighty one gone in. If you are not happy with that one stroke, I make a second stroke. See? Can you see? It gives you a nice, you can, it can have a little tip there or a little round. You have two curves on your knife. You can use any curve you want. Any curve you want. Any curve. This is very simple, very simple paintings. Very simple paintings. Maybe here, this one, I will roll around a little bit from the top, make it so it looks coming over there. See? And we make another one up there. Uh, start off here. It's all the same now, it's all the same. Look at all the paint I lose here, but you got to clean your knife. Every stroke with the new paint. Every stroke with the new paint. And you can practice that. You see, this is a perfect stroke. See, this, there are some strokes you're not happy with. And some strokes you this can be practiced. See, I never practiced too much this uh, type of work. I used to paint a lot uh, knife work. <coughs> But then when you practice that and you develop such a, a mighty power in your, in, your, in your painting, that's just fantastic. See here I would like to have the other one. I lean on there and uh, it became a better paddle there. <coughs> but always clean, make sure you clean your... See, now in this case I might just run in uh, uh, just a line on top. See, that looks like that's hanging, coming to you, the, the paddles, and the rest you look into that. Maybe I make it a bit more drastic so you can understand it better. And if it doesn't turn out right, you always can take it off. Look. See? See how I took it off? And you have the line you want. Now you prepare it again with yellow there. And there's lots of paint built up there. 
If you like to paint with lots of paint, do it here too. See? And then you can do the same thing again. See? And here in this case, you, you put a bit of sap green on in the back. See, that shows you the beginning of, uh, of the stamp. And you can let that go around, around like this. See? I'll show you, we highlight that after. <clears throat> then you can use your big knife and <clears throat> you create a, a trunk there, the stem. See? And this knife has a nice little curve. I will use that for highlighting. See? Use this for highlighting for the round. And there you are. See? And if you want to get rid of paint, always remove it that way. <clears throat> There's no problem. Now here, again, I will have other stamp coming down there. Have other stamp coming down here. Finish that up. See, it makes it nice. Other stamp there. See, now you can fire in with the leaves. The leaves, as a sample, I will show you one here. The, with, the, with the ribs, pull it over that way. And the other leaf is here. Show you. Other leaf is here, that way. And the other leaf has the both side, but you pull it up like this. See? It gives you other leaf there. And then you can go on and on and make as many leaves as you want. And it turns out like a nice little picture. <clears throat> oh, you can have leaves hanging down like this. See the other side. Always think with the grain. See? Now here you can lime down like this. Maybe a bit more. See, it shows you all the ribs and all the little details. And if you want to show the other side, you can think it is just curved around. But if you want to show the other side, then you just laying on on this middle rib and pull it up that way. You see? Just pull it up that way. And it gives you a palette knife leaf. They can be nice loose, loose leaves there. And if you practice that, God, you can do it so fast. It's just a joy to to go on and on and on and on. But always make sure you have that movement of a leaf. See, always think there's a middle rib and uh, pull towards the rib. You can, the best is if you pull from the rib up, from the middle, mm, that way, you see. Gives you a nice little leaf there. You can hang on the other one down here. Sometimes just very flat. 
And then the other one, very, very, very bright. See, a bit lighter one side, a bit darker the other side, and uh, you form a nice little curve there. Mm -hmm. See? It doesn't work always every stroke, but you can easy, easy go over as much as you want to, to make it to your own, just you feel good about it. See, there are all kinds of little leaves you fire in now. You can fill up all your time with just making leaves. See? But always with the grain, you see, with that grain. See, that makes it nice. Maybe here, one hanging down. See, you can... Uh, See, have like grass, and you draw it on. See how I do it? Just draw it on. It will not cut the canvas. I never did up to now. I hope I will not. And it looks really like grass if you can see it close, because you can see it is just like grass, like a blade of grass on, on, the, on, on the canvas. Yeah, then hey, maybe that leaf I put on top. I put on top some leaves behind. More yellow. And the other side. And I think we are usually always too fussy. We always would like to. See? We always like to make it so perfect, and sometimes. When you make it too perfect, it doesn't look right. See, just add little lines, whatever you... If it comes to the foreground, you can make it more powerful there. Sometimes it's nice to have that little bit. See? Can you see how nice, by having that little bit of a side move, it looks like a big blade of grass in the front. So we get it to life. Then the other side. Nice little blades, nice little. Oh, maybe that's why we curve a bit more to harmonize with the rest. And 
and this side again, R vest that up move. That's good. So, you see how easy you get a nice little picture together. Sometimes less, sometimes more on one side. Now, you form it your own good old way. See, I can go on and on and on and on, and there's no end to that. But the main thing for me was to show you how easy you can get kind of flowers with a knife, how easy you can cut the background in, and how easy... <clears throat> See, if I had it more darker, then that would be more lighter. As darker you aim for underneath... See, on purpose I made already a bit darker there where I have the, the, the white flowers there. See, in a little picture like that, it stands out so nice and you can create... And that's only the beginning, really. That's only the beginning of whatever you do, because uh, from now on you get more hungry and more hungry, and you want to have a better painting and a better painting, and then all of a sudden your masterpiece will come. This is just the idea how you can put something on the canvas. See? I hope, I hope I made you happy, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. Palette knife work. Bye-bye.